So this time, let's talk about ES6 modules and legacy browsers. Although support for ES6 modules is really good, we can see it has a pretty good coverage, but what if we want to still support these old pesky browsers? In order to run our JavaScript in all the browsers, we're going to have to transpile this to all the version of ECMAScript. And also, we're going to have to change the format of our modules and use some sort of module loader. So let's go back to our code editor and set uh, our target for JavaScript compilation in our TS config to ES5. ES5. Now let's quickly compile this. So I'm going to run npm run build. And now let's just investigate what happens. So we can see, uh, maybe this is not the best example, npm run dev. Right, now you can see that our JavaScript has been transpiled to support all the latest feature we were using in our TypeScript. But if we look at our chunks, we can see that we still gonna be using exports. And if we try to run this in the browser, this is not gonna work. So if we test this out, and if we just take our type module, save, Let's go back to our browser very quickly and check our console log. Well, this is not going to work. So in order to load our JavaScript and run it in the browser, we're going to have to change modules. And we can do that in Rollup. We can tell Rollup to use a different uh, modules during the bundling process. So we can say system, meaning that we want to use our modules compatible with system.js loader. And now, if we check our compiled files, we're going to see that, let's check the dog, that we've got a different type of module. It's using system.register. So let's try to see if this is going to work in the browser. And we're going to refresh. And of course, it's not going to work because we are getting an error. System is not defined. And the reason for that is that we don't include module loader. So the easiest way to solve this, it would be to pull system.js from CDN. Let's quickly grab system.js from CDN. I'm going to search for it. System.js CDN. Let's see what we can find. There it is. And we are going to copy the script tag. I'm going to go back to my HTML. And before we load our modules, we are going to paste our system.js from CDN. Now, if we save that and go back to our browser, we can see everything is working and we're back in business. So looking at this, we can see that this solution gives us best of two worlds. So we can still write our TypeScript and we not sacrificing our developer experience. We can still use these six modules, but once we ship, we are going to be transpiling to ES5 and we're going to be using system.js as our module loader, meaning this is going to run in all the browsers. Including files from CDN might be not your chosen solution. So what we can do instead, we can add system.js as the dependency with npm. So I'm going to remove this, quit that. I'm going to say npm i dash dash save dev system.js. Now we can go back to our rollup config. Once I'm here, maybe let's clean this out a little bit. So we could say not dev and Persa. And also what we can do in our minification plugin, we can say that we want to do format and we want to disable comments. So comments false. We've got our system.js in node modules. So what we can do, uh, we can specify another configuration like this. And we're going to say our input is coming from node modules system.js dist and we're gonna grab system.js now our output is going to be directory and we're gonna store this in our public folder in directory called lib now if we don't specify the module uh, rollup by default i believe it will use common js if we look at system.js in node modules if i can find it 
there it is. If we look at this and system.js, we see this is just an ify and this is not a module. So what we can do in our rollup config, we don't have to worry about it. If rollup doesn't deal with the module, what it will do, it will just pass the file through, meaning it won't transpile anything. So now if we try to run our build with npm run build, we'll see that rollup it's actually taking system.js and place it into public slash lib. So if I go back, my directory structure, there it is. So we've got our lib folder and we've got our system.js. Now, it would be nice if we could minify this. This is external library and we really don't have to worry too much about it. So going back to our rollup config, what we can say, uh, we can just define another array of plugins for this particular input. So we're going to say plugins and we're going to pass an array. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a Terraser plugin, which minifies our bundles. So we are minifying and we removing the comments. So if I run this now, we should see that our system.js file is minified and this is perfect. So now if we go back to our HTML, what we can do before we load our JavaScript, we're going to say script src equals lib system.js. And if I go back to the browser and restart our development environment, npm run dev, we should have everything working as we had before. And this is all really there is to it. While I'm here, let's just quickly remove our clean task uh, from package.json. And we can probably remove that as well because we don't have to remove any directories from the level of package.json anymore because we are doing this in our rollup configuration. If this video helped you in any way, please remember to smash the like button and even subscribe. As always, I will include a link to a GitHub repository in the description. Thank you for watching.